You name it, I faced it. <laughs> Dr. Ernest Grant, Vice Dean for Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, and Belonging, the Duke University School of Nursing, also the immediate past president of the American Nurses Association. The first initial barrier was, um, first of all, being a black male working in the South. Uh, there's a lot of prejudice that you would uh, encounter, uh, particularly uh, working with either white colleagues or on white patients. A lot of uh, white nurses will, will say, um, you know, when it comes to addressing racism, I don't see color, or uh, it doesn't exist, but it really does. Especially when they say, I don't see color. My comeback to, to them is, well, if you don't see color, you don't see me. Because one of the things about nursing and healthcare is that you want it individualized for that particular uh, patient. So as I stated earlier, I'm six foot six. I should not be lumped into a category of every six foot six African-American male. If you're going to um, provide care for me or if I'm going to participate in my care, we should sit down and have a conversation to address the care specific to me, Ernest Grant, not to me, you know, six foot six, you know, African-American guy that I'm lumping into a category with, uh, with everyone else. You were quick to, um, to draw stereotypes, which is not what you, you want to have happen. You want it individualized because part of seeing me is to see my color and to understand, you know, the culture that I come from and uh, my understanding of, or comprehension of health and healthcare or what may be going on with me.